What's going on, everybody? How you doing today? I just want to give a big shout out to Debbie Smith. Debbie, thank you for upping your donation to me on Patreon. It's because of viewers like you that allow me to continue to do these videos. And I really appreciate it. I really, really do. You're part of my Patreon family. Extra videos there, outtakes, longer videos, different videos. Debbie, thank you so much. You've been a loyal viewer for so long and I really, really appreciate it. And welcome to Toronto, Debbie. We're in a cemetery. Who are we visiting? You're gonna find out right now. Let's go. I know you're gonna dig this. So here I am at Toronto Necropolis Cemetery. Now this little cemetery, it's not as little as I thought actually. I've never been to it before. I knew it was here and I knew that George Romero, the famous American film director was buried here, but I've never actually been to this cemetery here in Toronto. Right over there, you can hear the hum of the traffic. That's the Don Valley Parkway and Rosedale Valley Roads up, up there, the Bayview Extension. So major thoroughfares run right by it. I used to drive when I would leave uh, the clubs downtown, go to where I used to live at the apartments over here, go right past it every night, all the time, never knowing this was here. And I'm glad I'm here. It's a beautiful little place. I've left my car just up the, up the road. My friends are in it. There, as soon as we got into the cemetery, they were, they were very quiet, very... And are we allowed to drive through this cemetery? Are we allowed to park here? I'm like, this isn't my first cemetery. Don't worry, I, I know what I'm doing. It was quite cute to, to kind of see, bring people along that don't normally visit cemeteries unless it's for a very sad occasion. And now this is sad, always visiting someone's grave, but I'm also here to honor the life of George Romero. One of the most famous film directors of all time who created the zombie craze. A night of total terror. <coughs> night of the living dead. In the very back of the cemetery, if you come in, go all the way to the back, it's going to turn around. Look for this monument, and it's going to be around here somewhere. Now, I haven't found it yet, so can't use that as our guide, but it's going to be here somewhere. So if you're not familiar with George Romero, George Romero was born in New York City. Then he went to Carnegie Mellon in Pittsburgh. And that's where he made a lot of his movies, Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh became his favorite city to make movies in. And him and a few friends formed a little company. They each put in 10 grand for a budget of $100,000 and made a movie called Night of the Living Dead, which became a huge cult classic, huge. 
And then he made a few other movies, didn't do as well, that weren't part of the zombie genre. And then he went back to it and made Dawn of the Dead, which was another big, huge hit. So he's pretty much the master of the zombie genre. And here he is right here. Here's George right here. It reads, George A. Romero, 1940 to 2017. He loved and was loved. Suzanne C. Desrochers, Romero, 1958. And then down here it reads, Now cracks a noble heart. Good night, sweet prince. And flights of angels sing thee to thy rest. Now, since George was an American, you may be asking, why is he buried in a Canadian cemetery? Why is he buried in Toronto? Well, he married a Canadian. He met her on the set of Land of the Dead, another one of in a, in a series of the Dead movies, and became, got dual citizenship and moved to Toronto, because it's a great city. Now, George had a huge, huge output of content. He is so prolific. He left behind over 50 scripts when he passed away. He passed away of lung cancer and with his wife and his daughter by his side. And he was listening to the soundtrack from The Quiet Man, a John Wayne movie. That's what he was listening to as he passed away in his sleep. Uh, what is the appeal? Do you know? Is, is it worth analyzing or should we just say it's just fun to be scared? Have you given any thought to why horror is something people willingly subject themselves to? <laughs> I think it's fun. I think uh, people enjoy seeing a horror film or reading a, a scary book uh, the way they enjoy going into a laugh in the dark or on a roller coaster ride. Mm -hmm. You go in knowing or you go in with high expectations. And I think the ones that work on that audience are the ones that really pay off. In other words, the ones that give you that little zets and yeah. give you that involuntary response reaction to it that you went in hoping to get. Did you know that George Romero was in Silence of the Lambs? Yeah, that's him. Little cameo, Science of the Lambs. Another movie that George uh, is famous for is Creep Show, 1982, that he collaborated with Stephen King. He collaborated with Stephen King on a few things, but Creep Show was a huge hit in 1982. It was Warner Brothers' highest grossing horror film, and it was not about the, genre, uh, the zombie genre. And then he did, after Land of the Dead, he did, I think, uh, Day of the Dead, Diary of the Dead. He contributed to a lot of video games. Uh, the man had his hand in everything. Such an incredible artist. And I actually, I was really into horror movies when I was little, like in the 80s and 90s and stuff. And I discovered Night of the Living Dead, the remake, which he executive produced and Tom Savini, the famous uh, makeup artist, directed. And George Romero's right there helping him out. So I saw that and I thought, I thought that was amazing. And then I found out it was a remake. I was just, I was, I was an idiot, I was a little kid. So I was like, what, there's, a real, there's another one? No, no, then I saw the original from the 60s and the amount of gore in that was shocking at the time. Reader's Digest actually wrote an article about it saying, don't see this movie, it's so disgusting, blah, blah. And of course, if you're gonna write that, that's gonna make people wanna see the movie more. And so Reader's Digest negative review and saying, don't see this movie because it's disgusting, helps Night of the Living Dead. 
But yeah, I discovered it because of the remake, which I loved. And then I loved the original a little bit more, of course, because it, it's got something, it's got a certain rawness to it that's incredible. Same with Dawn of the Dead. I love uh, the original from 1978, somewhere around there. But I also love the remake, which was filmed here in Toronto as well. Hmm, I wonder if I'll be doing those locations. famous movie his from the 70s was called The Crazies and there was a remake of The Crazies that was really 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 good as well The Crazies wasn't really well received in the 70s when it came out and the remake well I can't remember if it was well received but it was well received by me I loved it I highly recommend The Crazies that's a great eerie weird scary cool movie So if you're coming into the cemetery and you'd like to find George Romero, like I said, see that? You're gonna come all the way to the back. When you go in the end, just make a right, all the way to the back, make the circle turn. Sit, look for that large monument there, and that one there, and George is right here. The great George Romero. All right, well, that's it for today's video from Toronto Necropolis Cemetery. George Romero, peace to you. I hope you're resting comfortably. Now, I want to make some zombie jokes. I think George would appreciate that. I didn't, though. But he had a great sense of humor. And he literally wrote the book on zombies. And I'm in a cemetery visiting the master of the zombie genre, George Romero. Right there. He's, I think he's still under there. All right, George Romero, peace, man. I love this man. I love all of you. Thank you for watching. Peace out. And another way to find George is look for section P, the sign that says section P on the tree and look to your right right down there just past smith here and george is right behind this little monument and on the side i'm not sure what is what this these are other graves here on the side i'm guessing mother henny but i think they're this way and i'm sorry that i'm walking on them but as I've said before in other videos sometimes in cemeteries graves are very small that you don't notice and you do have to walk across some of them which is part of walking through a cemetery I don't find it disrespectful people come out and sit on graves lay across them have picnics on them I've seen it all and you're here to honor loved ones or people you know or people you didn't know or maybe just take a walk and read some gravestones. See, there's ones here, here, these, this little rock here. It's kind of hard to avoid. I actually thought it would be a larger stone from the picture I saw. It's a beautiful black marble stone, but from the picture I saw, I thought it was taller. But you can tell it's a well-tended to grave that the family comes out here, I assume. It's the family, maybe some fans too, leaving flowers. This uh, flower arrangement here as well. This has obviously been planted here and the garland flowers around it. Very, very nice. As you can see, as I told you before, it says he loved and was loved. George Romero was deeply loved by his family. He had a few kids. I think he had one, two, three, four? Three or four kids and beloved throughout the film industry as a pioneer and known as a genuinely nice person for all the horror output and gore and scary stuff that he put out there in the world I might have heard quite a sweet man and he loved Toronto so that says something about him Toronto is a great city
Rest in peace, George. <laughs>